I was a single mother. I had a hard time. The best that we can do is be mothers from here. We parent from prison. My name is Anayel and I'm 28 years old. I grew up between Queens and Brooklyn. My family moved around a lot. My mother died when I was 11 years old, so I lived with my father for a while. When I turned 18, I moved upstate to Syracuse. I was starting over, so I decided to go back to school. I went to school full time and I worked at like odds and end jobs full time. I loved it, it was different. Like, you watch somebody, you know, that kind of looks like you and the person that you're with, and they develop their own personalities. They're like little people. So I loved it. I love, like, dressing them up. I love, you know, doing things with them, just watching them learn, you know, learning how to eat, learning how to walk, things like that. I was having problems with my son's father, so we kind of separated, got back together, separated. Each time we separated, I was left with the bills and, different things and then I hit a hard time and then that's when things kind of got a little crazy. The best way to explain it is really like I did things that I knew was wrong for a little extra money. I pretty much got arrested because a friend asked me to actually pick drugs up for her. Basically she would call me and be like I need two and a half ounces. I would go to her pick her money up and go and pick it up from somebody that I knew and bring it back to her. So when they arrested me, it was more so like to kind of put me under pressure to do what she did, find somebody to set up, but I refused to do that. So I wound up getting sentenced to eight years. I had a very hard time with being away from Minalik. It was hard in the beginning because he was three. That was the hardest part about coming to jail, is the separation. I didn't see him until 2009. By then, he was just a totally different kid, and it was hard for me because, you know, in prison, you have to do your time. You can't let the situation out there affect doing your time in here, or else you'll go crazy. You'll be stressed out. So, I mean, this sounds bad, but I had to put my son in the back of my mind. I couldn't really stress about not being around him. I think this has been frustrating for Anayel, and I know that she's hoping when she gets out to be able to strengthen the relationship with the child's father, and hopefully we'll be able to have a strong relationship with her son that involves, you know, visiting. It was really, really hard for me. We have like a social worker that works with us. She encouraged me to write and to stick with the writing and she promised me if you write, it'll get better, it'll be easier when you talk to him on the phone. And she was right, I mean, it's looking up now. While it's frustrating for the moms, the ones that really ultimately suffer are the children. It is still in my opinion anyway, better for the child to have a relationship with the mother, even if the mother is incarcerated, than for the child to be completely estranged from their mother. When I first started the letters, because he didn't know me, the plan was to start this thing, Mommy Fun Facts. Every letter, I had to tell him something about myself, my favorite color, my favorite food, my music, what I like to read, just anything about me. He doesn't write back, which I felt bad about that. So that's what the letter started out as. Now I'm kind of running out of facts, so <laughs> I just write them and just say whatever's on my mind. His father said he's at that age where he doesn't want to be kissed and touched in public and stuff, but when I talk to him, you know, he, I don't know, he's so sarcastic. I don't know sometimes, but, you know, I said to him the, the last phone call, I said, 
Did you get my letters? And well, first I have to say, two phone calls ago, he finally asked me, when am I coming home? All this time I'm thinking he doesn't know and just out of the clear blue, he said, well, when are you coming home? I know you're in jail. So, but we can talk about why I'm in jail later. And he's like, no, he wants to know now. So I had to tell him and then the conversation kind of got cut after that. So I wrote him a follow-up letter and I explained it to him again and told him that, you know, we all make mistakes and I made that mistake and being away from him, it, none of it was worth it.